Welcome to Grub Boys, the grubbiest place on the internet. Today we will be making lemon bars. Uh, this is an old family recipe from uh, Devlin Richard McKenzie Addison group. Yeah, that's me. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be, a, it'll be our first baking item, so it should be a very fun one. Yeah. So this is a little easy recipe. It's not going to take very long. It won't take you but an hour max. So first step, you want you want to start with your flour. We're going to make a double batch today. We get a lot of people cooking for it. So for that, we're going to do two cups of flour. So when you do your flour, make sure to level it off. It's flour. It's not that hard. One. Two. Uh, pretty good. Yep. Back to this. We need to do one cup of butter. Half a cup of butter. Or well, half a cup of butter. Well, actually, we're doing a double batch. So. Whole stick of butter. That's this stick of butter, and then plus another one of those. So I have to soften another stick of butter. So I'll put that in here. Here. Um. Yeah. That's the. Do we want to stop the recording? Let's stop the recording for five seconds, and then we'll come back. Here. We're going to uh, stop the recording for five seconds, make it easier on editing. Go into commercial break. Go into commercial break. So we just did our butter. Now we're going to quickly do our powdered sugar, and that's going to be the first step. So for the powdered sugar, we're just doing half a cup. Okay, so that's these. We're going to quickly wash these while Ethan starts to mix them up. No, I'm not going to. Look at the recipe. You blend those these three ingredients, and then you're going to cook them. This is the crust. So, using the spoon that I put out earlier, we're going to start the mixing process. He's not very good at mixing things, apparently. Butter. <laughs> so, usually when you want to mix something, you mess up the butter a little bit at first. It makes the whole mixing process way easier with little chunks of butter. We also melted the butter a little bit, so. Yeah, be careful about melting the butter. This recipe doesn't call for melted butter, it just calls for softened butter. Which is different. They are different, but they're not the same. It's not a shortcut melting the butter beforehand. It just makes it, it'll make your food taste different. So the melted butter is kind of like incorporating gluten in it. So it's kind of like making it solid. That makes more sense. Probably didn't soften our butter for long enough. So well, before you do this recipe, it's a good idea to just leave your butter out for a little bit. Yeah, don't be like us. Don't plan all this an hour ago. We can plan this an hour ago. Your grandma planned some changes in your life. <laughs> Grandmas are cool. You don't get down what you don't hear it, you say yourself. Yeah. You got some extra powdered sugar, you know, just kind of. That's not powdered sugar, it's powder. No, that's powdered sugar. Just kind of, you know, put it into a line and. Sorry, my siblings are here as per usual making a mess and doing what they're not supposed to do. And all right, we're back. So we mixed up the dough, got it all good in no, dough, it's more like a, we mixed up the crust. And I pour the crust out into your baking sheet. I'm just gonna spread around that, that thing. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this, you know, and swish it down when you do it. Don't wash your hands, that's a myth. Germs are good for you in your food. You're right. Wash your hands. Anyway, do what Mickey Mouse says 30 seconds, whatever. Uh, I think it's sing ABCs. Sing happy birthday twice or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah, it's sing happy birthday twice, that's it. You sing happy birthday twice while you wash your hands and you'll be good. You made sure to wash your hands before this to make, you know. I mean, we're not cooking for just ourselves. You don't really get to it this day and age. Okay. Now that you crust down and pack down, put your dishes you made in the sink. You can clean them up too, but just put them in the sink. Alright, so once you do this, you want to throw it in the oven for 20 minutes at 350. Make sure you set that timer. Okay, once you set that timer for 20 minutes, you're good to go chill, do whatever you want to do. That's about it. So we're gonna quickly make the filling for the 
Lemon bars. So step one, we're gonna crack four eggs into this bowl, and they're gonna hopefully fit. We're gonna assume that you know how to crack eggs. Still going through that crisis right now where eggs are ridiculously expensive. Seventeen dollars a pound. Yep, seventeen dollars a pound. It's true. Wow, we got any British terms today, Andrew? We're doing fish and chips. Oh, uh, we have seventeen pounds a dollar. Okay, so once you do these four eggs, go ahead and throw the four eggs into the bowl. Sink them. Put that in the sink. All right. So then we do two cups of sugar. Never said to do coffee. And for you British folk, uh, 235 milliliters of sugar. Yep. I think they probably say it somewhat, somehow, dip, somewhat different than that. But here. British and Cuban. Two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar. Then we need one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. So we can use pretty much the same thing. When you open your salt, if you're going to use a salt shaker, make sure to open it over the sink because usually it'll fill up with salt and it'll make a mess. This is the baking sugar powder. Yep, baking powder. Now we're going to do. Salt. Salt, baking powder, and then two and four tablespoons of lemon juice, which we can use this for. And those four tablespoons of lemon juice, and then it's easiest to use an uh, electric mixer. Same way with the, the dough, we pulled out the electric mixer once the camera stopped rolling, actually. Be careful. To not spill lemon juice everywhere. I mean, you can. It's not it's no different than spilling water, but mm -hmm. still, you don't want to do that. All right. So what I'm gonna do here? Mix it until it's a one substance. And once you're done with this, the lemon bars are pretty much done. You just have to wait for your timer to go off, which may have about six minutes left in our dough. To a pretty solid yellow consistency. Well, look at look. Well. Apologize for bad camera work here. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's it. That's lemon bar's pretty much done. Now we just have to wait for a little bit for the once the dough's done. We. We're gonna fill up, we're gonna fill that up with the remaining ingredients, cook it for another 20-25 minutes, and then let it, then you let it cool for however long you want to let it cool for. Among us. Alright, so we finished this and this just came out of the oven, so we're just gonna quickly pour this over all this. They're rubber spatula. We do have a we're gonna use we're also gonna use a rubber spatula that really Get everything out of this because this filling is really good, and you know, we want to use all, as much of it as possible. And spread that around as evenly as you can. It'd be helpful if this wasn't really, really, really hot, but it's very hot. So. It'll also rise a little bit if I remember correctly. So won't be exactly where it is. Okay. So, now, we're going to put this back in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Just wait until it starts to brown on top. Putting it in now. Why are you putting it on the bottom? Because bottom is for baking. Putting it on the bottom. Alright, timer, 20 minutes. And we're gonna look at it after those 20 minutes is done and dictate whether or not we need to put it in for another five. All right, so we finished the we we finished the lemon bars. You don't have to be this close. <laughs> anyway, finished lemon bars. So here's the final product right here. 
Uh, this is the way they should look, a little bit crispy on the edges and a little bit of brown in the middle. And now you're just going to want to let them rest. Let them rest for as long as you want. It's important to let them just cool. So at minimum, like I'd say 20 minutes, let them rest. But then once they rest for a bit, you can take them out of this pan. You can put them in the, in the fridge, for example, and you can just have them for another, another night. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the lemon bars. We're going to come back later for a little wrap-up of everything that we cooked today. Uh, today was just a bundle of a lot of stuff. So we'll uh, show you uh, the reviews afterward. So yeah, now not over yet, but we'll be over soon. That's fairly good. Now get, get that lemon bar. Ooh. Ooh, that lemon bar is really good. I think that helps tie it all together. I've had like I've had I've had lemon bars that are like too lemony. Yeah, that's good. that's actually really good. That's not bad. I think my food rating is gonna be an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Pretty good though. Let's see if Alex is a sheep and goes eight out of ten. Alex, right, so no. what's your review? I'm honestly, I think I'm gonna give it like a seven out of ten. It's okay. really good. It's just fish like this is not my favorite thing. It tastes good. He doesn't like not fish. My, not he my doesn't like fish. fish. All right. Well, we I missed a shift at work for this, and my manager's probably not happy with me right now. But um, I made fish and chips instead, so I think it's overall gonna be fine. Uh, any thoughts? Uh, I'm gonna give my individual review of the food. I think this is probably my favorite one so far of the two. Is the fish and chips mainly because uh, I just I really like fish and chips a lot. I really like fish and chips. I think it's a uh, super yummy, and I love I just fried fish and fish in general is super good. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm excited to eat right now because I'm going to go eat the second that the, the camera stopped rolling. I am so hungry. I haven't ate all day. It is 10 o'clock at night. Do you forget we already ate all of it? Oh. Oh. There's well, no fish there. There's no fish here anymore. We're done. Uh, I'm just going to have to go to bed starving tonight. It's how it goes. All right, Luna, any final comments? Thank you, Luna. She ate the microphone. All right. Here. Alex, the resident, hold this, please. Luna, move. Luna, move. Luna, you're gonna die. Move, 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 move. Alright, one, two, three.